What's shaking everybody? It's your boy King of the Golden State coming at you with a haul video uh, from out of town actually. I was uh, on a small little break from work and uh, decided to find, you know, whenever you go, you know, I'm sure everybody knows this, but whenever you go out of town, you know, or, go, or you know, go on vacation, what have you, what have you what is, what's one of the things you do as a comic collector? You look for the closest comic shop. That's what I did. So... Um, my friend was graduating from, uh, college this, uh, this past weekend and, you know, it was over in, uh, the state of Arizona and while I was out there, I figured, well, what was the first thing I do? Well, I'm going to go look for a comic shop while I'm driving from the south of Arizona to the northern part of Arizona and, you know, do that. I mean, so did that and picked up some books and there was a thing or two I didn't want to pick up, but I didn't anyway. So I was like, you know, some, you know, sometimes you have to draw the line. So, but here's what I did pick up, uh, which I found in a couple of com like one or two comic shops were kind of like, you know, okay. And some were, you know, some were, uh, there was like one I found was really good. And then, and then one that was according to Google maps said it was open, but when I got there, it was out of business, but, uh, I hit one that I found and I thought it was pretty cool a place called, uh, what's it called? Dreadnought comics. It's off of some freeway exit but uh it was pretty cool you know pretty decent amount of stuff and i you know i like what they had so i couldn't help but pick it up and starting with this is a free comic day i didn't even see it in my comic shop but uh it's a we can never go home young terrorist and it's a free comic day edition so decided to pick that up it was free i was like whatever you know i haven't even looked at it yet you know so i just got settled up at home and uh let me see. I wasn't just at Dreadnought Comics. I was at another place called All About, um, let me see, All About Books and Comics. I know, it was close to saying All About Comics. I know, right, Joe? You know who I'm talking You know who I'm talking to. So, from All About Comics and Books, I picked up, uh, I was trying to pick up my, uh, you know, I was trying to fill up my Punisher War Journal run. So, I picked up number one, number two, uh, numeral Cinco, which is five in English. We got number eight, which is one of my favorite Jim Lee Punisher covers, because I remember seeing this Punisher cover on a uh, the Nintendo Punisher uh, uh, video game, which was pretty fun to play. If you guys haven't played it, buy yourself a Nintendo and buy yourself a copy of that game. It's a great game. Also, I picked up number nine, which is uh, the Black Widow. And, of course, you got number 10 and number 14 and i got those for cover uh those those you know they, i guess the guy had a, like a special or something going on and you know i think he wanted me to leave as soon as possible because i was going to start talking i was going to start talking to him about wonder woman and i guess you know like a big ch I, I like a chunk of his store is like covered in wonder woman merchandise and I wasn't trying to talk crap about it, but I just thought, you know, after what happened with all the DC movies going on, he didn't want to hear it. So I was like, okay, well, whatever. I'll just take my comics and go. So he gave this to me at a cheap, you know, cheap uh, cover price discount, you know, because originally they were like five bucks each. I think three or I think three or five bucks. But I was like, all right, well, I'll take them. So I took them and I'm gone. So and he had some stuff there, you know, at the comic shop, and it was, you know, like, you know, he had like. Um, an Amazing Spider-Man 5. He had like two copies of them, but they weren't in really good shape. And I tried talking him down on a price, but, you know, he just would not budge on it. And some of those covers, man, were kind of like hanging, hanging for dear life. So I was kind of like, all right, well, no deal, <laughs> of course. So, you know, I said, you know what, I'll move on. So went to another comic shop around the area. Um... But the one I was talking about previously called Dreadnought Comics. Pick this one up. Uh, showcase number four. It's reprint, obviously. Um, I just wanted to have it so I could open it up and read it, you know. Because I did that with, um, uh, let me see, a previous video. I picked up a uh, uh, showcase, uh, the first appearance of uh, Green Lantern. You know, Solar Age Green Lantern. And uh, I just wanted to just have the reprint just, just in case I happen to do pick up the actual issue. You know, I'm going to probably keep it slapped. That's why I'm picking up some of these Silver Age classics. So, pick that up. Uh, what else did I get? Let's look at this pile. Uh, 
flash 276 just filling up the uh the uh, flash run still working on that it's gonna take some time uh i also picked up this one i don't really have a need for why i picked it up i just liked it because it's a uh, jim stranko uh cover swipe of uh i believe it's a uh, nick fury uh agents of shield number two i can't remember i think it, i think it is but i know if you, you guys probably know the cover and this one's done by Eddie Granoff, and I saw this one. It kind of caught my eye, and I thought, why the hell not? You know, I mean, I, I don't even have, I'm not even on the whole Iron Man series, but I just like the cover regardless. So, so pick that up. And also, so to pick up this, I just didn't even care. I just like the cover. And uh, a lot, you know, a lot of people probably. I'm not sure if you guys, if you guys are aware of it, but it's a Heroes Comics 2014. It's an IDW co uh, cover. I know nothing about Heroes Comics. I just know that they had a J. Scott Campbell section, which I thought was cool. So, you know, I, I looked through a bunch of their stuff and, you know, I was looking for something I couldn't find, you know, I haven't seen before. So this is something I haven't seen before. And I don't know if J. Scott Campbell did the cover, I mean, did the inside, but I doubt it. He probably just did the uh, cover like he does for everything else. And that's fine. I just like the cover because it's a naked chick, you know. Lady in the Lake, basically, you know, Excalibur. So, you know, AKA naked chick with the sword. Also, uh, like I said, he had a couple, the comic shop had a couple of sections based on, uh, uh, some artists. So he had like, kind of like, um, he didn't have like, he didn't want like boxes, but they were kind of like doors, like these big giant doors. And they had like racks you know, of comics on there and you could just pull off what you want. And this is what I pulled off one of them, which I I never even seen this one, and it's a uh, A Force number one, and it's, you know it's a variant cover done by uh, Adam Hughes. I'm not sure can you guys see that cover good enough? And of course it's uh I just liked it. It was really cool, and uh, you know you know it was fifty normally, but he taught you know I was able to let, you know let him take shave off a couple of bucks. You know, because I just told him I'm from California. He's like, yeah, I'm from California. It's like, right on. So we just chatted things up. And, uh, you know, what? the one thing about, before I continue, the one thing about Arizona, you know, no one's really normally originally from Arizona. You know, I, I mean, I, I'm sure there are, are people out there, of course, but every time I run into somebody, uh, uh, every time I ran into somebody out there in Arizona, they were from Chicago, they were from new york they're from california they're all everyone's from, it's, it's like a big melting pot and i'm sure there's people who live and who were born and raised in arizona i just found that funny you know so carry on guys uh also I was filling up my maybe spider-man's with the new ways to die run here and uh that was yeah i just like that cover you know ramita kicks ass junior ramita junior uh Picked up uh, Action Comics number 361. You know, uh, I just like that. You know, Second Parents of Parasite, and it's a Neil Adams cover. And then, of course, you know, he gave Superman two black eyes because he probably told him twice. He probably told him twice. Um, this is a, I think, a variant cover of Youngblood number one. It's hard to find out which one of these are regular covers. There's too many different damn covers of Youngblood. It's getting ridiculous. So. Saw that, got it for cover, because I was not going to pay anything more than that. And, uh, what else? Also, filled up on my Catwoman run, so got these. Like, ignore the price, guys. Those are not the actual price. I paid less. 78, picked that up, and 77, which I thought was pretty cool. So, I, I, just, love, I just love Adam Hughes, man. I mean, I don't care if he does covers for the rest of his career. You know, he just does some really kick-ass covers, though. That's for certain. So, I just like that. So, and speaking of Adam Hughes, picked up some more. I was able to fill up on the, my Ferris run, run here. So, got a Ferris number 30. Ferris number 31. And my very, uh, very hard to find, but I found it out there because it, it took for me to find it out of state was Ferris number three. And uh, I just, because I went through their boxes, they had long boxes there, I just went through and it was like, man, I can't find anything anywhere. So I just asked him, hey, do you guys have a Ferris number three? He did, and, and believe it or not, he, he actually had a back area where he actually dug through stuff and he actually pulled out a Ferris number three. And I was like, damn, dude. Usually I, I'm used to hearing an answer of, 
yeah, whatever's out there, if it's not out there in the box, then we're probably out of stock. I hate hearing that. But, you know, I picked that up. Um, and, of course, when this, this video is almost over, guys, so I just want to pick, show you what else I picked up. And this is pretty much it. Uh, Daredevil, number nine. Daredevil, number five. And last, but not least, Daredevil, number two. And I'm filling up pretty well on that Daredevil run. Um, yeah. This one is, of course, the second appearance of Electro. I guess because he thought he couldn't beat up Spider-Man and he tried try to beat up on some blind dude. But, uh, yeah. Um, I like this cover. You know, it, it's, you know, it could use a pressing. I mean, it's got this nasty little crease right here, which I'm going to see if I can get that thing pressed out. Um, yeah, it's tag says 150 bucks, but I got it for 110. Um, and it's actually all together. It's all in good condition. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, yeah, I'd say a VG, um, I'm definitely gonna get it all, get this thing pressed and, uh, see if it gets slabbed. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, uh, I didn't really go to too many places guys. Um, cause you know, I had priorities, you know, uh, you know, I had other things going on, you know, like things like a graduation for, you know, for a friend and plus, you know, you know, his parents were making a, you know, or making a lunch, had these big old giant size fat ass steaks. They were great. And then by the time the day was, by the time the whole weekend was almost up, I decided to go up north to, uh, further up north to, uh, the Grand Canyon. I gotta say it, driving up to the Grand Canyon, guys, is, if you guys haven't been to the Grand Canyon, drive up there. It's a great, great view. I swear to you, you'll not regret it. But th yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, picked up some books from, uh, you know, from it, uh, being out in Arizona. I know, um, Dave's Green, uh, you know, from, um, oh God, I'm drawing, why am I drawing a blank? Uh, CFG channel. He, uh, he, he, he lives in the, he lives in that neighborhood and, uh, he, uh, yeah, he, he, I, I was hoping to see like, a, you know, I didn't, I didn't, it wasn't even where he lived up there, but, um, or it just didn't hit me until I got up there, but he reminded me he was there and I just didn't have time. Uh, I just, you know, you know, with all, with all, uh, you know, please forgive me, uh, Davies, but, uh, yeah, man, I, uh, I just didn't have time. I had, you know, a lot of things going on. The schedule was pretty tight, you know, so driving from, you know, two hours up North from Phoenix was, uh, was a top priority for me. So some other time, but other than that, guys, I hope you guys uh, liked uh, what I got here as far as, uh, my haul video. And, uh, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and also, you know, comment, tell me what you think, you know, don't be afraid to type on the keyboard and uh if you haven't subscribed please subscribe go ahead and you know hit that subscribe button and also i'm still running a contest for the uh 300 subscriber contest which is going on for another nine days so uh may 24th but that's about it guys i'm gonna get going uh warriors games tomorrow can't wait to see them win again and if, in case you guys are wondering uh that wasn't a dirty play zaza didn't even see him all right, got to go, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.